guys and welcome back to another video love them or hate them you cannot deny the fact that the crusaders are probably the best provincial team in world rugby right now they have sealed the deal with the super rugby arteria title they are champions they beat the, uh, the highlanders 32 points to 22. firstly credit to the highlanders for putting up a fight they had the lead for the first 60 minutes but then the Crusaders showed the world why they are the best. I've said it before and I'll say it again. The last 20 minutes of a game for the Crusaders or any All Black team, but mainly the Crusaders, is the most dangerous. They completely um, dominated. They, they dominate that second, that second part of the half and they just showed the world why they are the best. George Bridge getting try within two, two tries within two minutes the 61st minute and the 64th minute. Then you got Brandon, uh, Braden Eno finishing it off in the 75th minute. From 60 minutes, the Crusaders are dangerous. It's like they hit into second gear. They put the foot on the accelerator and they shoot. And good for them. I mean, credit to them. Um, they deserve to be champions. They deserve to be champions of freaking Club World Cup even because of the level of intensity this team has of commitment to those final minutes it is just remarkable having said that the highlanders put up a strong fight i mean they led the game for the first 60 minutes um shannon frizzle scoring the try in the second minute made people think whoa guys we could have a game or we could have an opportunity where the crusaders finally won't win the title but that wasn't the case then jonah scoring a try in the 24th minute and then the 54th minute, uh, Michael Collins getting a try. They had the lead. They had the momentum. But when the clock struck 60, then the Crusaders woke up. Then George Bridge took it over. Richie Mwanga getting a try in the 13th minute. The man's just showing why he's cementing his position as the all-black fly-off. He has really been outstanding for the Crusaders. We witnessed new stars. I mean, Will Jordan. I mean, probably one of the best right now. I mean, tournament champion for me. Um, he took the world by storm, scoring all his tries that he did in this tournament. It's been remarkable. It's not over yet. Obviously, the Crusaders are champions, but you still got a final game in Auckland between the Blues and the Crusaders. Now, unfortunately, the dream ending for, I think, a lot of New Zealand fans and fans worldwide, unless you obviously support the Crusaders, you would have wanted that to be the final game where we could see a potential, like a final and the winner gets crowned champions but that's not the case crusaders got the bonus points when needed look they weren't at their most dominant phase the old tournament they've had moments of where we've seen a little bit of rustiness but rightly so yeah they hadn't played rugby in about three months but they still took the world by storm they still converted and as i said the, those final minutes last 20 minutes of a crusaders game is the most powerful minutes bar none because that pretty much decides the game for us now the highlanders i mean they did all they can i mean if we look at where the highlanders were in the original super rugby campaign they were good they weren't that great they weren't winning um they weren't in good form but when they hit super rugby out of rear they really took the world by storm and started playing solid rugby this whole tournament has been fantastic we witnessed exciting games unfortunately for the chiefs they end the tournament with not one win going into a bye next week. So there's a lot of work for them to do. We've seen the Hurricanes really show spark. They got a good win yesterday over the Chiefs. Um, the Blues have been outstanding. They've really taken 2020 with a positive aspect and um, have produced the goods. And that's without the spark of Bowden Barrett. I mean, Bodie's brilliant, but he hasn't been the, the deciding factor. We've seen... Guys like Satutu uh, rise to the occasion. We've seen Otero Black rise to the occasion. We've seen phenomenal performances from other guys. I mean, when we talked about the Blues at the start of the season, everyone was going, Dak Carter, oh, Bowden Barrett, they're going to be the changes. And they weren't. Yes, the, the mentorship and the advice given is very powerful. But credit to every Blues player for standing up to the occasion and producing the goods needed. I mean, Christie as, as scrum off of the Blues, remarkable. But it's just not enough, uh, unfortunately, for them. And the Crusaders deservingly won 
the Super Rugby Australia titles. They've got everything. They literally have won everything. Now we just need a Club Rugby World Cup to see who the best team in the world is, to have proven facts of who the most dominant is. For me, I have to give it to the Crusaders. But obviously there's a, other teams like Leinster, Saracens, um, teams in France who have really shone and uh, rose to the occasions where we could see an exciting contest. But for me, the Crusaders are, are just remarkable. Whether you love or hate them, you cannot deny the fact that this is one of the best teams in world rugby right now. So credit to the Crusaders, respect for, to them for coming back and, and getting that all-important win that they needed. It was remarkable. Possession territory, 50%. I mean, it was very close and tight, but the last 20 minutes decides the game, and we've seen it happen so many times before. Having said that, it's just remarkable. So respect and credit to the Crusaders for winning the title. They deserve it, and... Um, there's not much more left to it. One week left. It should be a cracking week. Um, I'm looking forward to the Blues Crusaders match. Although it doesn't mean as much. But it's still an important game for us to witness. And I think we could see some excitement coming about it. That's going to do it for this one. Let me know your thoughts. Are you happy? Are you sad? I know there's a lot of Crusaders fans here. Matthew Dow is a member of the channel. Um, I know he will be celebrating properly. And rightly so. Credit to the Crusaders. You are Super Rugby Arteria. 2020 champions that's gonna do it for today's video i hope you enjoyed it if you did smash that thumbs up button subscribe if you're new and i'll see you real soon for another one stay safe and never give up cheers